hugely important community of Devon. It's a vast area. Without the speed of the air ambulance and the clinical ability of the crew, and the fact that we can actually take patients from where they are, vast distances to where the specialist treatment centres are, means if you're critically ill or you've had a really major accident, we can get you really quickly to the place you need to be to give you the best chance of survival. I live in a very remote area. I have a farm just on the Devon-Somerset border. One day, um, one of my twin sons fell very ill when he was one year old. It was decided uh, that the air ambulance would be the way to convey him to the hospital ASAP. Without that quick transfer to hospital, um, there's no doubt at all that he wouldn't have survived. Now, it just so happens that his twin brother, uh, Alexander, was uh, also conveyed by air ambulance uh, about two years after that. Um, he had fallen from a, a trampoline, was knocked unconscious, and we couldn't revive him at all. Again, he was conveyed by helicopter to Musgrove Park, uh, where fortunately he made a very rapid recovery. Well, to put it simply, it, you know, it saved my child's life on at least one occasion. Um, you can't really put that into words. Um, it is, it's a service that we'd never really thought about until we needed to use it. So keeping Devon Air Ambulance Service running costs us four and a half million pound a year, which is a phenomenal amount of money. That money's raised by the people, the public, the businesses of Devon that every year raise that money to keep this essential service going. My name's Julie and I've been a volunteer with the Air Ambulance Trust now for 10 years. I'm one of a band of 452 volunteers and we put the enthusiasm and passion out there in the community so everyone sees the Air Ambulance fly over but we're the ones who deliver the message of how important it is to our community uh, by a variety of things, fundraising, events, uh, talks, talks to primary schools up to talks to WI groups and so on and just love what I do. Fundraising is really important for Devon Air Ambulance because not only does it provide the service that we give to the public, but it enables us to train our clinicians up to a level that best meets the needs of the patients. That's beyond the level they would normally encounter on a land-based ambulance. And the money that the volunteers, the supporters raise is all really important because without that, we couldn't provide that training. So those supporters are equally as important as the paramedics who deliver that care to the patient at the roadside. At the moment, if you're critically ill or you've had a really bad accident, the service we provide is only available in the hours of daylight. The night campaign is something that I'm really passionate about. Four years ago, I had a major life-changing uh, incident myself and my world was turned upside down. My husband was um, uh, killed at half eleven at night and had the air ambulance been able to night fly at that point, the help could have got to him more quickly. next year we're going to move our service into the hours of darkness so if you're critically ill or you've had a serious accident and you need help when it's dark we'll be there to help you. The future for Devon Air Ambulance is really exciting but more importantly it's really essential for the people of Devon.